Assalamu alaikum, welcome to our project at Tripoli 316. I am Sakib Share, I do 1706113 and we are from Group 4. We are working on constant electricity control of DC motor using PWM and speed monitoring using tachometer. Here, we will maintain the DC motor speed at a constant value. We have implemented a feedback mechanism to maintain the speed at a fixed level. We will measure our output speed by using tachometer. After looking at the problem, we have used two methods to solve our project. Firstly, we will try to control the speed of PLDC motor. Then, we will design a DC machine to follow the criteria. We used commutation logic here by passing three Hall effect of phase A, B, C of the BLDC motor. Here, we can determine the position of the rotor by using Hall effect sensor. The output from the Hall effect sensor will pass through the PWM. Here are our six logic in the PWM which will pass in the MOSFET and then the signal will go through the BLDC motor. Here is our input and output module. We have connected them to make a feedback system here. Then it has passed through a PID controller which is tuned with a proper value. Now we have used controlled voltage source which has converted our input RPM into equivalent voltage. In the Hall effect sensor, we will be passing the sensor around the coils A1, B1 and C1. We have placed them in A1, P1 and C1. Basically, Hall effect sensor is a sensing switch that gives an output logic of 1 when magnetic field is detected. Whenever it is a north pole, it will give output 1 and whenever it is south pole, it will give output 0. Combining all the output scenarios of all the three sensors, we will be getting from 000 to 111 but in most cases 000 and 111 they don't exist then we will be having only six status and when we divide the six status then we will be getting 60 degree region here is the output from our three sensors we have made a scoffer to observe them the next part will be discussed by other teammates. Assalamu alaikum. Thanks to Saki for giving me the floor. I'm Yasin, ID 1706112. Now we will understand how PWM helps with voltage modulation. For controlling the speed of BLDC motor at varying speed, we need voltage values of varying levels. The percent of time the PWM signal is on during a given period gives us the duty cycle. We have, If we have a duty cycle of 50%, the effective voltage seen by the motor will be 50% of its peak value. Now if we keep changing the duty cycle, we can continuously modul modulate the signal and create the whole range of different voltage values to control our motor at varying speeds. That is how we can get a varying output voltage by PWM's control that is seen by the motor. That is our PWM generator. It is our output PMW with a varying duty cycle. The PMW pulses are feed to the gate of a MOSFET which reacts and controls the connected motor current in response to the settling of the pot. The current level through the motor decides its speed and this implements the controlling effect. To get optimum level, we can use the built-in tuning function in the PID control menu. From that, we find the optimum values of PID written here. For the input of 1200 RPM, we will get the peak time of 0 0.025 seconds and the settling time of 0 0.07 seconds and the a percentage of a shoot of 8.33 percent and that is the output torque which was pretty high at the beginning but it becomes constant just at the settling time of 0 0.07 seconds now i'm passing the slide to wahid jaman for the next plot we made a second model by using a brush dc motor the target value of the speed is our input the motor is powered by dc source which is connected to the motor through the connection of igbt free wheel drive and an inductor. We will come to the purpose of these circuit elements later. The output speed of the motor is fed into unity feedback system. The difference between the input and output is then given to a PID controller circuit which will analyze the difference of the speed and give appropriate results that my friend Orno will later explain. The controller output is then given to a pulse with modulation PWM generation block the output of the PWM generator will be used as a gate pulse of the IGBT. The purpose of the IGBT is to pass the PWM signal to the DC machine. Free wheel diode controls the amount of the current. 
the inductor prevents any kind of switching direction and it often works as a voltage source when the source fails to provide enough power. We use these scopes to see various circuit characteristics of the model. This is all from me. Arno will illustrate further. I am Samuel Rahman Arno. My ID is 1706116. My friend Wahidul Jaman gave an amazing overview about DC motor control project. Now I am going to describe about the PID controller and rest of the project. In the PLDC motor, we used linearization and tune the PID value by the PID controller application. But here we manually calculate the optimum value of PID. Firstly, for a PI control system, we can observe that our steady state error is minimum, but the transient response like percent overshoot, settling time, and rise time is higher. Next, for PD control system, the opposite is occurred. Though the system's transient response is lower, there will be some steady state error. And finally, for a PID controller, the optimum PI and D value is achieved, which is 4.012 and 0.5 respectively. Now let's check out the output. For an input of 1600 RPM, the motor settling time is 0 0.7 second, the steady state error is 0 and the per percent overshoot is 0%. And for an input of 400 RPM, the settling time is 0 0.6 second and steady state error is 0 and percent overshoot is 0%. In this project, we control the speed of both brush and brushless DC motor. And we can see that the speed control of brushless DC motor is more complex than brush DC motor. And thank you for patiently listening to our project.